The hippopotamus shares the second position in the ranking of the most powerful, massive, and strong terrestrial animals with the rhinoceros. In a one-on-one -on -one encounter, lions stand no chance against it, but here a whole group of cunning and experienced lionesses attacked the hippopotamus. The predatory cats act cohesively and aggressively, striking at the thick skin of the opponent, gradually diminishing the hippo's strength. It defends itself, but can't catch any of the huntresses in its terrifying jaws. The cats are too fast. If they manage to bring him down, the tragic finale for the hippopotamus is inevitable. Lionesses maneuver, constantly biting or scratching the enemy, making the hippo panic. However, the predators underestimated their opponent. The hippopotamus turned out to be much stronger than the panthers thought. It breaks through the encirclement, scattering the lionesses, and then hides in the lake. This is what saves him. No predator would want to fight a hippo in the water, even if the herbivorous giant is injured. The lionesses have to give up. And we will show you other cases where predators failed after an unexpectedly tough resistance. Two lions feel like masters of this territory. No predator can pose a threat to them since, covering each other's backs, the brothers can stand up even to a numerous hyena pack. Other lions are far away, and even if an invasion begins, the pride is ready. And these panthers look at herbivores only as potential mules. It takes an attack by a whole herd of buffaloes to scare these lions. Or one elephant. A huge beast entered the predator's territory and showed them that they are not the bosses here. Lions are shocked by such audacity, but what can they do? An adult elephant, especially a seasoned male, is a too dangerous enemy for them. For a while, the panthers just lay there, pretending not to notice the elephant. But this giant did not like being ignored. He is here specifically to teach the predators a lesson. The enormous monster, weighing about five tons, steps forward. The lions immediately get alarmed and run away like frightened kittens. The predators tangled with the wrong elephant, the one that couldn't be ignored. The lions were lucky to escape from the aggressive giant. Otherwise, they would have been trampled. This is one of the most impressive and brutal action scenes from the world of nature. If two male lions represent a formidable force, then four make a small army. Adult seasoned males feel like true kings and attack a small neighboring pride ruled by a lone leader. The four predators think they can easily overcome the rival, tear its throat, and annex its territory to their dominion. They're mistaken. Although a lone lion rules in the small pride, he turns out to be an incredibly tough and powerful fighter. The four invaders are in for an unpleasant surprise. The opponent meets them with a powerful resistance, combining wit and crushing strength. He slowly retreats as if stretching the enemy squad. This prevents the strangers from surrounding the enemy and attacking simultaneously from all sides. One of the intruders gets closer than the rest to the local leader and perceives a powerful hit to the face. A fierce brawl begins as the local leader takes on one invader and another attacks from behind. But our hero reacts instantly, turns around, and delivers a counterblow to the aggressor. Another flank attack? The third lion also gets a snipe. Today, the leader is generous and distributes blows to anyone who stands in his way. Of course, there's no question of the loner defeating all the aggressive lions. What was supposed to be a quick and easy takedown turns into a heavy and epic battle. The four brothers test their opponent for a while. The complex positional struggle continues. Their favorite tactic is to pounce on the enemy, bring him down, and grab his muzzle and neck. The thick mane prevents them from quickly reaching the throat, but that's not necessary. While one lion holds the enemy in check from the front, the other delivers a series of brutal blows to the groin, lower abdomen, and hind legs and the four lions just want to disembowel the lone opponent. But all their attacks shatter like waves crashing against sharp, sturdy rocks. 
Several times, the brave loner was surrounded and attacked from both sides. But he defends himself, quickly throwing off one and then the other aggressor. The quartet gets tired of this game. They realize that defeating such a dangerous enemy without losses won't happen, so they boldly rush into battle and go on the attack. They know they will get injured, but are ready for it to achieve a victory over the lone male. The stakes are raised, and the dynamics of the fight intensify. Surprisingly enough, despite three lions fighting almost simultaneously against the loner, he continues to hold his ground and even dangerously counterattacks. The predators made a mistake in choosing their target today. It's easy to understand them. Externally, it seems like the lions are roughly the same size. However, this lone male possesses phenomenal strength. Notice that after the opponent's fierce blows, he continues to respond lightning fast. Moreover, with his strikes, he consistently sends each of the four enemies to the ground. The most amazing thing is that the lone lion doesn't run out of steam, whereas the quartet shows signs of fatigue. The males take turns during the attack. As one receives another blow, a fresh fighter takes his place, and the situation repeats. But one by one, they all get unforgettable beatings. Finally, this beating cools their ardor. The lone lion managed to fend off four equally large males and defended his small but dear pride. Perhaps the reason lies precisely in motivation. A lone lion has cubs to raise. If they dealt with him or even drove him away, after taking over the pride's territory, the other lions would simply eat the loner's cubs. He couldn't allow that and bravely protected the offspring from the superior forces of the enemy. Such heroism deserves your like, doesn't it? A lioness is looking for something to feed her cubs and suddenly notices the carcass of a huge hippopotamus. On her own, the cat won't be able to overcome one of the most dangerous, large, and ferocious mammals on the planet. The weight of a hippopotamus can reach three tons, more than 20 times the lioness's mass. But the cat hopes she won't have to fight. The hippo lies motionless, and lions sometimes scavenge. The panther approaches to check if the hippo was alive, and it turns out he's alive and well. Moreover, the enraged giant is unhappy that he was awakened from his daytime nap by a bite to the tail area. The lioness should have run away at full speed immediately, but she underestimated the enemy's anger and speed. The hippo instantly rose on its short legs, caught up with the protruding lioness, and impressively grabbed her by the head. The hippo's mouth is so huge that the skull of the predatory cat can easily fit inside. The massive beast jerked and lifted the lioness into the air as if she were a helpless toy. He threw the panther to the ground with the same ease as you would throw a volleyball. And then the furious beast stomped on the lioness. Even if she survives, multiple fractures will take a long time to heal and mund. A pack of hyenas attacked a lioness to take away the prey she had caught just earlier. The predatory cat tries to resist, but there are too many enemies. One on one, she could easily fend off such an attack, but the hyenas have a clear advantage in numbers. The scavengers feel confident. If the lioness attacks one hyena, the others will pounce from behind and maul the cat. The lioness fiercely defends herself, but doesn't realize who she's up against here. Yes, the hyenas came to take her lunch, but if the lioness hesitates and doesn't retreat in time, the scavengers will gladly deal with her as well. For them, the main thing is to surround the enemy. Then the lioness can be finished off without fearing serious injuries. Just pounce from different sides and sink their fearsome jaws. Finally, the lioness understands this. She holds on until the last moment, as she doesn't want to abandon her prey, but the hyenas close in. The lioness can't scare off the enemies, just as she can't reduce their numerical advantage. So at the last moment, she breaks out of the encirclement. The hyenas celebrate their victory, but they rejoice too soon. The hyenas picked the wrong opponents, because lions are also social and pack animals. The sounds of battle are heard by a huge male. 
the Pride Leader, which includes the lioness. The female was lucky that the seasoned lion was nearby. For him, the appearance of hyenas is not a threat, but a gift. He is twice the size of the lioness. The enormous strength allows him to stand up to a pack of scavengers even on his own. The lion is happy to beat up the old rivals, take back the meal, and protect his lioness. The enraged predator rushes at the hyenas. The entire pack scatters in panic from the anger of one lion. The scavengers wasted so much energy in vain. These spotted predators tangled with the wrong competitors today and now rejoice that they at least stayed alive. A young lion entered the territory of another pride to challenge its leader. This is a risk because a lone male doesn't know how large the pride inhabiting these lands is. In a one-on-one -on -one duel, he would have had a chance. But it turns out to be a much larger pride. There are not one, but three adult lions ruling there. They roam together, patrolling their territory, and encounter an unwelcome guest. The outsider immediately assumes a defensive posture. He understands the trouble he's gotten himself into. Three powerful and experienced enemies, each of which would be a problem on its own. Will there be a brutal execution, or will the three males tear him to pieces? Not at all. The three lion brothers didn't know who they were dealing with here. They rushed to fight, clearly underestimated the courage and skill of the lone challenger. It turns out that the stranger, although young, possesses the skills of an inexperienced fighter. The three brothers charge at the opponent. Two hang back, cutting off escape routes for their victim. One of the brothers initiates the attack. The agile movements reveal that he underestimated the opponent. The young lion deflects the first attack, showing that dealing with him will come at a high cost. The outsider crouches low to the ground to protect his belly from a possible attack from another lion from the flanks. But at the same time, he delivers powerful blows with his paws, preventing them from grappling and seizing his throat. The other brothers immediately stop and contemplate. The aggressive leader, who faced resistance from the outsider, only grew angrier at the stranger's audacity. Covered by his brothers, this lion started circling the loner and then launched another attack. The young lion once again impressed his enemies. He delivered a crushing blow from above. Then, as if continuing the paw's motion, he immediately hooked the opponent's head with his claws and slammed his muzzle into the ground. Such a stunning move was so dangerous that the other brothers intervened to protect their own. But the outsider is already stepping back. He turned out to not only be remarkably fierce, but also very smart. The Lone Lion understood that he couldn't defeat three brothers. He needed to find a balance. He had to show his strength so that the three lions wouldn't perceive him as prey and pounce. Yet he couldn't be too arrogant either because if the enemies got seriously angry after sustaining injuries, they would fight to a fatal end. Against three lions at once, the outsider can't stand his ground, so he shows readiness to need the territory of the three brothers. Now the lone lion just wants to survive and exit their territory intact. Thanks to a combination of strength and prudence, he has decent chances. The three predators didn't know what they were getting themselves into and are now wary of the outsider, ready to let him go. If you think lionesses never fight their own kind, then you're wrong. Here, lionesses attentively watch a target beyond the frame. Lion cubs cling to the backs of the adult females. What scared them? It turns out a group of lionesses entered the territory of these lionesses. Presumably, the hunters from a neighboring pride were pursuing prey that eluded them and ended up here. This road is a conditional border of territories, and the lionesses crossed it but they chose the wrong time for such an adventure. Just nearby, there were several lionesses from the local pride. The invaders had a numerical advantage and felt confident. This was a big mistake. These lionesses tangled with the wrong opponents. The thing is that the owners of the territory the hunters entered were with their cubs. For them, lionesses from another pride pose a threat to their offspring. And that leaves no room for compromise. 
Although there are no males nearby, it doesn't stop the lionesses. To protect the cubs, two lionesses fiercely charge at the three intruders. Under such overwhelming pressure, the enemies scatter. The two lionesses manage to escape, leaving behind the lagging lioness. Just moments ago, the outsiders had a numerical advantage, and now the uninvited guest is left alone against two enraged lionesses. They knock her off her feet, and an epic fight ensues. The lionesses roar, exchange blows. Just notice the ferocity of the confrontation. The two lionesses don't just want to teach a lesson and seek revenge for the intrusion, they want to finish off the foreign female. She's in shock, but tries to resist. She's lucky that, in the adrenaline rush, the two lionesses accidentally hit each other. Thanks to this, the abandoned intruder manages to slip away from the enemies and escape back home. The invasion was repelled, and the lionesses from the neighboring pride learned a painful lesson. Here, a wolverine encountered a pack of herding dogs. These are the largest and strongest dogs bred to guard herds against wild animals. Despite being predators, these dogs are relatives of wolves. They combine speed, ferocity, into the ability to act as a team. The dogs surround the wolverine. Each member of the pack is twice the size and three times as massive as the opponent. With five against one, the wolverine has no chance of escape and, even more so, of victory, right? Turns out not quite. This miniature beast turned out to be not only a fearsome fighter, but also a true daredevil who doesn't care if there's one enemy, five, or fifty. The wolverine is eager to fight. The mere approach of the larger enemies angered it, and this small but incredibly aggressive creature counterattacks with such determination as if it's not facing a numerically superior opponent, but rather hunting the dogs. They are shocked by such an onslaught. In reality, the wolverine looks quite innocent and cute when going about its business. A miniature face with large ears and curious little eyes. Disproportionately large paw pads, a stretched out body. The wolverine seems more like a weasel, so it's understandable why the dogs underestimated such an opponent. But behind the facade of this little cutie hides a berserker. It turns out that these big, cute paws are very convenient for delivering powerful blows left and right. Dogs, like wolves during a fight, mainly use their jaws and ramming attacks. But knocking down a miniature and agile creature with a low center of gravity is almost impossible. And as soon as the dog reaches out to bite the wolverine, it gets a powerful claw to the face. Tearing or even injuring the wolverine is simply impossible. It has a tough hide and an incredibly high pain threshold. In fact, the small creature couldn't care less about attempts to bite it at all. But the wolverine's own attacks hit the mark, aiming for vulnerable areas on the opponent's body, mainly the nose, muzzle, eyes, and paws. If you think that against wild and larger wolves, the wolverine won't be able to show off its coolness, then you are mistaken. Here, wolves caught a deer and celebrate their victory. They are pleased that they've secured food for the next couple of days, but the predators don't know whose territory they've entered. Emerging from the thickets is a wolverine with a sincere desire to take on all three wolves and snatch their meal. The predators are shocked by such audacity and attempt to resist the enemy, but they can't do anything at all. As soon as the wolverine realizes that it won't be handed the prey voluntarily, it immediately strikes. The small yet aggressive creature lunges at the wolves with concrete certainty in its superiority. The gray predator retreats. They simply can't surround and seriously attack an enemy who strikes, tosses one wolf aside, then turns to another, continuing this until all of the opponents retreat in panic from such a frightening adversary. And here, the wolves made an even more foolish mistake. They perceived the honey badger as prey. Credit must be given to the wolves. Inhabitants of the harsh northern regions, they possess immense strength and large sizes even compared to other wolves. 
Each of them is almost as large and powerful as a mountain lion. Despite their excellent coordination, the two predators feel confident in a duel against the wolverine, even though their experience hints that the fight won't be easy. However, with all their advantages and strengths, they still can't handle the lone opponent. The wolverine proves to be incredibly fast. Understanding the danger posed by these opponents, it avoids being surrounded. The wolverine literally dances in a perilous pattern, constantly maneuvering between the larger predators, delivering strikes, biting, and scratching them. Here, the wolverine's combat skills are complemented by other anatomical features. It turns out, right here, that those large paws with disproportionately massive pads aren't only for an extended striking surface, but also to prevent the wolverine from sinking into the snow. Although wolves are skilled fighters in challenging conditions, they are far from matching the wolverine in this aspect. The compact creature possesses lightning-fast reactions and quickly turns to a new adversary as soon as it attempts to attack from behind. Investing its entire mass into the strike, the wolverine hurls a wolf three times its size aside, and if the impact is only tangential, this also works in favor of the small animal as the blow transitions into a leap. After the jump, the little fighter turns and spins to fend off the second wolf's attack. A true master against whom even two enormous predators cannot stand. Wolves are resilient, and the fight can drag on for hours. Therefore, the only way to rid oneself of such enemies is to show them the cost of potential victory. Hence, the wolverine fights not only effectively, but also ruthlessly. It attempts to gouge out eyes, tear apart the wolves' muzzles, and to damage their paws and noses. With each attack, the wolverine's fury and strength only grow. The wolves realize that if they continue the battle, inevitably, sooner or later, at least one of them will be left maimed. So, in the end, they retreat and release the wolverine. Which of today's encounters in which predators faced fierce resistance from their rivals surprised you the most? Let us know your opinion in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be able to see more episodes from the world of wildlife that will absolutely amaze you.